welcome to this short video on how to correctly strop your cutthroat razor. Before we go into the stropping part of the video, let's have a look at the anatomy of a razor first. Here we have a, a typical cutthroat razor, it's a, a, a Dovo, um, new Dovo razor. We have the edge, which is the bit you cut with of course. Uh, the spine is the part of the razor opposite the edge. The edge has a toe, which is the part furthest away from the handle, and a heel, which is the part closest to the handle. The bit of the blade that's between the handle and the actual blade area we call the shank of the razor, and the bit that hangs out over the edge of the, of the scales or the handle is called the, the monkey tail. We often call the handle the scales of the razor. Stropping is probably the single most important component of learning how to use a cutthroat razor because good stropping technique will enable you to maintain the edge of your razor for many many months some people even think years also if you strop before every shave you'll maintain the keenness of your edge and you'll have good quality shaves as long as you strop correctly so the key to stropping correctly and smoothly is how you flip the razor when you're on the, on the actual strop itself. So the way I hold my razor when I flip it is between the thumb and the forefinger on the shank. The three other fingers gently nurse the scales and support the scales and I roll the razor between my thumb and forefinger like so, like you might roll a pencil between the two fingers. And that's the key to stropping on leather. Here we have an Illinois strop. It's got a canvas or linen side and a nice smooth leather side sold at the razor shop. Linen sides often used first. Do 20 or so laps on the linen. And once you've done on the linen side, you flip it over and do your uh, laps on the, the leather side. So here's how you correctly strop a razor. Start with the spine of the razor on the leather. Gently lower so the edge and the spine are both on the razor, like so. Gently push away from you up the strop. When you get toward the end, flip by rolling the razor between your thumb and forefinger, always keeping the spine on the razor, uh, the, the razor on the uh, leather. And then lower it down gently and pull it back. And then flip by rolling, keeping the spine on the leather at all times, gently down, back up. Make sure the whole edge and the spine of the razor lays flat on the, the surface of the strop at all times. Don't worry about speed at this particular point. Speed will come with time and practice. The most important thing is to make sure that you, number one, roll the razor on its spine at the end of each lap so that the edge comes into the air. And number two, during each lap you do not lift the spine of the razor off. If you lift the spine of the razor off the strop as you're stropping, you'll what we call roll the edge, which usually requires um, taking the razor to the, the sharpening stones to fix. So be very careful with those two aspects. And that's essentially how you strop a razor.